Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Vu Watch again. I'm Vu Kong. Today we're going to talk about Victorinox knives. Today I'm going to tell you how to exchange the handle of a Victorinox knife. First, I'm wearing the Seiko. I call it Mini Flieger. Here I don't know the serial number. Believe it or not, but I am. Quite a Victorinox guy, as you can see, I have a bunch of Victorinox knives, a bunch of different models. So I'll be showing you how to exchange the handle of this Victorinox knife because this knife has a brand new handle, and this is the old handle, as you can see, quite. And here it's a little bit broken off, so it's. It had a very broken handle, so I decided to replace it. And I didn't know that was a thing, like until a few days ago. I saw it on YouTube, but I didn't know that I could just replace the handle. When the handle broke on this one, I thought, okay, let's just buy a new knife. And that's when I bought this one here. So now I've got two very similar models. But then I noticed you could just replace the handle, and now I have basically two knives. And today I'm going to show you how to do that. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how you exchange the handle of the Victorinox knife. Today I'm wearing the Steinhardt. This is of course before I exchanged the handle, so yeah. So this is this is how you exchange handles. I've got here my, my little package. This came it came like this. Those are the new handles for this Victorinox knife. So, of course, I've opened them up already, I've checked them out, they're, they're fine. Look like this. Brand new. Mm, they already have a few tiny scratches, but yeah. No, no, who cares. Yeah, now, first we have to do is, we have to Get rid of the old handles on this knife. This is, an, as I said, a 12-year-old knife. I think even older. So remove the uh, pin and the, uh, what's it called? Toothpick. You have a, what's it, a flat head screwdriver. This is, looks like this. It has to fit in there perfectly. I can just get them out there. See, this is no problem. Okay, this is really dirty. I need to clean this up as well. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get this. Yeah, like this. See, lots, lots of dirt. This is embarrassing. I need to clean. <laughs> I'm going to clean this immediately. Okay, then again, put the flathead in the hole where the toothpick or the pin is, and then you push your flathead against the knife. You don't push the flathead against the handle. You push it against the knife. So it up on top like this. It's very important so you don't break the handle. Of course, in this case, it doesn't matter. The handle is already pretty much destroyed. I, I, I will throw them away after this. But if you have handles which you want to re-exchange back again, you have to be a little bit more careful. So this is what the Victorinox knife looks without handles. Um, mine, of course, is, as I said, is 12 years old. I've carried it around a long time. This works good. Some um, springs don't work that well anymore. I have to put on some DW40 on, or some oil just under. See, it just doesn't click that good anymore. Right here. See, it doesn't click that good. I have to, as I said, I have to put some oil under. Um, okay, so now I'll get some hot water and I will be putting those handles in the hot water so they expand themselves, themselves a bit because you, you need to do that in order to put them on. They won't fit on just like this. And in the meantime, I'll clean this knife up. So, see you in 10 minutes. So, good. Here I am back. I've cleaned this up as good as I can. Still is some dirt left, but it's just minor. So, I've, I've cleaned it up as good as I can. Now I'll put those on. The, the side with the logo on has to go on here, it has to be there where the bottle opener and the tin opener are. So it has to be like this, basically. Yep. 
put it on like this and you have to apply a bit of force so what i'll do is i'll just go ahead okay this already sits pretty well but i'll go ahead i'll put them on and after i've put them on i will uh, wrap the knife in cloth and lay it on the floor and stand on it so it really 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 sits tight yeah now i've put it on see it worked because the plastic expanded a bit and now it's easier to put on now we have to let it dry for 10 minutes but at first let me just you know stand on it real quick and then i'll let it dry and then i'll see you again in 10 more minutes all righty ladies and gentlemen here i am back with the finished product now this the handle sit very tight i've sharpened the, uh, the blade again so now it's pretty sharp see so cuts again very smooth i've oiled the knife again so the springs work better so yeah it's just like a brand new knife so so i hope you've learned something from this video um knife works pretty good for me now same color as my phone is now never had a i've never had a blue victorinox knife so that's a cool thing as well yeah i hope i could have i could help you and have a good day subscribe and like